Alrighty, Dock 200. Probably one of the most important muscle management devices in New Zealand still after 20 years. Nothing in this one, but what we might want to do is just have a look at some of the reasons why there might not be something in there and what we could do to perhaps increase the, the functionality of this trap. One of the first things I've got in my kit is a sock. If you dry fire these, they uh, will smash the welds over time and you'll end up with a trap that doesn't last and the investment's too valuable. So um, we'll just set that off on a sock. We we'll always set off our trap um, just to make sure that it's functioning, that there's no sediment underneath. Uh, eggs sit in the landscape like that. So many places I see the eggs are plonked on the nails vertical. Um, if you want to use a visual cue that's appropriate, put it on its side. I blow my eggs and I leave the, um, the white and the yolk on the outside as a bit of a, um, a free giveaway. And then I put that on its side on the nails in the trap so that it's horizontal. We can scuff this ground right up. You can already smell the leaf litter. The amphipods are hopping around uh, along the trail, a bit of a game trail here, create one, because that's how animals travel. Let's create a bit of interest. Let's guide our critters to our trap as they come down. Let's put a bit of guiding and fencing um, just to encourage them along the line of what we want. Uh, we want them to come down here and be interested. I use flower lure, flower icing sugar and vanilla or cinnamon or eucalyptus. Um, let's blaze a few trees up here. Um, this isn't to attract mustelids. This is to attract rats and possums and hedgehogs. It's their scent trails that'll come here over the next few days as they take this yummy smell away on their breath and their whiskers and their fur. They'll keep coming back here for a few days. Stody will cue in on that scent trail back to here. But over here, Mutton fat, there's a mixture of haunch and saddle fat here, which has got a lot of sinew in it, and also a whole lot of kidney fat. So we'll just leave Hansel and Gretel trails along our... Um, we want everyone who turns up here to see a big neon sign on here saying, come on in. Not a big neon sign saying, danger, do not enter. Just rub your mutton fat up and down the baffles um, on, the, on the ramp. Uh, it's up high in the trap. The scent will flow through on the breeze and the critter as he comes in the trap will be looking up at the bait, not down at the trap. Increase the inquisition, lower the caution. A little bit of rust and stuff on the trap. Um, and just a little bit of cleaning. Make sure the sea is nice and clean. And there we go, ready for action. So, pretty much, Job done, next three days, two or three nights, that's gonna be gold. That's what we want to protect our kaka, our kiwi, our field, our robins, um, and um, it all helps. Next one.